One of the benefits of having a self-managed super fund, or SMSF, is the ability to invest in a wide variety of assets. SMSFs are also able to borrow money to purchase investments, which for some investors is especially attractive. There are, however, specific rules that govern borrowing by SMSFs, and these must be followed. Let's take a look at the process of using borrowed funds to acquire an investment property. Once a suitable asset has been identified to purchase, the fund trustee needs to ensure that it can be acquired by the fund. The trustee should refer to the fund's investment strategy and, if necessary, update the strategy before the asset is purchased. There are some assets SMSFs can't purchase and so it makes sense to ensure the purchase of the asset won't breach these rules too. Once satisfied that the asset can be acquired, the trustee of the SMSF will need to arrange a loan. The type of loan that must be taken out is called a limited recourse loan and the finance can be provided by either a related party of the SMSF or a financial institution such as a bank. A limited recourse loan can only be used to purchase a single asset. If more than one asset is to be purchased, there needs to be a loan in place for each asset. This is where things can get confusing and it pays to make sure that you seek our advice prior to signing a contract to purchase. In order to buy the property, a trust needs to be established. The trust purchases the asset for the benefit of the SMSF. The trust is recognised as the legal owner of the property, while the SMSF is the legal beneficiary of the property purchased. The SMSF remains responsible for all transactions, including loan repayments, the receipt of investment income, as well as all taxation liabilities arising from the property. A feature of the limited recourse loans is that if there is a default on the loan, the lender's recourse is limited to the asset held by the trust. All other assets held by the SMSF, including money held in cash and or shares, are not at risk. The borrowed funds may be used to repair or maintain the property, but the ATO places restrictions on alterations that significantly change or improve the value of the asset. Improvements to the property can take place, but they must be paid for using cash held by the SMSF. The loan can be repaid from rental income, employer and or personal super contributions, income earned from other investments owned by the SMSF, or by selling the property and repaying the outstanding debt. The rent and any capital gains are taxed at the standard superannuation or pension tax rates. Once the loan is repaid in full, the SMSF has the right to take ownership of the property. It is essential to consult with us prior to buying a property with an SMSF, especially when borrowing money, as the financial penalties, if you get it wrong, can be significant.